Our company is called Wild Vines. We purchase red vine licorice in 64 ounce tubs, which consist of 288 individual pieces of licorice. The cost of the tub is $19.99. We then repackage the candy into smaller bundles of eight. These new bundles, called Wild Vines, will be sold for $3 each. These smaller and more manageable packages will be sold at local sporting events such as baseball games. We plan on buying 5,100 and 60 containers of red vines. It will only take us one hour for us to purchase the red vines because we have a close distribution center called Costco. The time it takes to repackage the red vines into wild vines is 3 minutes or 0.05 hours for each bundle. We pay our employees who repackage the licorice $22 an hour. Operating budgets are needed to run the daily operations of a company. The first part of the operating budget is the sales budget. The formula for the sales budget is number of unit sales times unit selling price equals total sales revenue. For example, in January we estimated that we would sell 48,960 units and the selling price would be $3 per unit. That gives us a sales revenue of $146,880. The formula for the direct materials budget is quantity of direct materials needed for production plus de desired direct materials ending inventory equals total quantity of direct materials needed. Then subtract direct materials beginning inventory and you get quantity of direct materials purchased. For example, in January we took the number of units produced and multiply it by, multiplied it by the number of red vines we need per unit. Sell 48,960 times 0 0.8 equals 39,168, which is the quantity needed for production. Then take the next month's quantity needed for production and multiply it by 10% because we expect to have 10% of the next month's materials in stock at the end of the current month. This gives you desired ending inventory. So 49,536 times 10% equals $4,953.60. Then you add the two totals together to get the total quantity needed. 39,168 plus 4,953 equals 44,121. The next step is to subtract the quantity the company already has in stock, the beginning inventory. So 44,121 minus 3,916 equals 40,000. 204. Once this has been calculated, multiply it by the cost per unit and that gives you the total cost of direct material purchases. 40,204 times 0.5 equals $20,102. $20, the direct labor budget shows exactly how much direct labor was used during the period. The direct labor budget is determined by units to be produced times the direct labor per unit, giving you the total direct hours required. You times that by the direct labor cost per hour, giving you the total direct labor cost. For the month of January, we expect to produce 48,960 vines multiplied by the 0.05 minutes, giving us 2,448 direct labor hours required. Then we take the total 2,448 uh, 2, hours multiplied by our hourly rate of $22, giving us our total direct labor costs of, of $53,856. The operating expense budget shows all the costs that have been incurred in the period. Costs are broken up in, into two types, fixed and variable. For our variable costs in the month of January, we expect two expenses of $1 per unit for shipping and $0.25 cents per unit for repackaging. Just like our variable costs, we have two monthly fixed costs of $2,000 for personal salary and $120 for booth rentals. A budgeted income statement has all the components of a regular income statement. 
only it uses budgeted data. We go with the standard sales revenue less cost of goods sold equals gross profit. Subtract operating expense equals our operating income. Subtract interest expense and income tax expense equals our net income. To demonstrate a budgeted income statement, we will use the information from January. In the month of January, sales revenues of 146880 and subtract the cost of goods sold to find the gross profit. Cost of goods sold was 27100 equaling 119780 Now that we have our gross profit, we subtract the operating expense to get the operating income which is 119,780 subtract 63,320 equaling 556,460. To find net income, we have to subtract the interest expense and income tax expense. Since we have no interest expense, we just find our income tax, which is 35% of our operating income, which is 56,460 minus 19,761 equaling 36,699.